Welcome to who? Ah! Or shut up. The podcast. <laughs> Where the only wrong opinion is yours. Hey guys, welcome to Nerd Up or Shut Up, the podcast where the only wrong opinion is yours. Hey, I'm here, you guys. Where are you guys? I'm, I'm outside. Here. Oh, what, what's the crowd situation there? It's like, hot. I'm still waiting to get in. It's it's pretty hot out here. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you have good chances of getting in, actually. <laughs> A really good chance of getting in. Well, I'm just here interviewing Daniel Radcliffe. I think. Yeah. Really. His tongue's um, right on your I'm- ear right now. I'm having a, a kiki with my girlfriends to figure out what to do about my boyfriend. A lot of diversity in that crowd. Yeah. So diverse. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for coming. Let's get, do we have a uh, camera on the crowd? Yes, we do. Oh, wow, thank you guys for coming. And that bit is over. <laughs> <laughs> No more, no more bits yeah. for here on no, the dead series. All right. Um, this is a very serious podcast um, mm-hmm. and a very serious panel about um, the state of the world, or uh, we're talking about masks. Either way. We thought it would be fun the other. to talk about all of our favorite characters that wear masks, since it's a way to be topical, but not depressing. So... Uh, masked figures. That's like, that's like a big broad topic. So I know that my favorite ones are uh, probably different than yours um, because they span. There's so many. There's so many, uh, which is kind of exciting because it's a really interesting um, array that we have there. I know that we wanted to go around and talk about our favorite, our top three. Uh, Emily, do you want to kick us off with your favorite three? Um, here's the problem. Oh, no. There's a problem already? I've, I haven't been able to, like, narrow down from six, six, but I'll try, and I'm at least going to tell you one that is definitely in the top three, because there's no question about it. Yes. And that's the Dread Pirate Roberts. Wow. Oh! Wow. Princess Bride, yeah. baby! See... Because I kept him out of mind as I thought he'd be too easy to guess. Because we're going to do games later. And I thought that's too easy to guess. But he's a good character. Oh, easy's my middle name. What can I say? <laughs> it. But it also is supposed to be your favorite. So yeah, if you're easy, that's, then that's, you're easy. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm a basic easy bitch. That's what I've come to know from my list. I, don't, I think he's an upstanding dude. I think that's a good choice. He is. Agreed. I, mean, I was like, ooh, Robin Hood. And then I was like, Robin Hood don't wear a mask, but he's a fox, L- literally at one point. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, in Disney, he is a fox, which they're doing a live action version. So I'm very interested to see. Is that, all right, is that Robin happening? Fox? That's what I heard. I heard they were doing a live action version of Robin Hood, which again confused me because they are foxes. Okay. Robin Hood, there's ridiculous. one every two years. Who cares? Yeah, that's true. There's so many, but yeah. not with yeah. foxes, Richard. That's there true. <laughs> there are no foxes there in America. No one start boning foxes. It's going to be a very confusing time period for Gen Z. They'll get over it. It'll be fine. <laughs> Speaking, I'm sorry, this is a quick sidebar, but I saw a thing on the internet yesterday. No! I know. <laughs> what Gen Z is say on TikTok about millennials like us and it was laughing so hard because all about like they get so pissed off at like what Hufflepuff house each other in and yet they can't afford a real house like uh, uh no your problems I was like dying I was like crying it was all just very accurate and I was like oh, we're that age I didn't realize just just it wait Gen Z till life. you get your own recession exactly. I'll get one you might get two or three here uh, so on the top of my favorite mask list, I put Darkwing Duck. Yes. I love Darkwing Duck so much. <laughs> <laughs> I, told, I, I told my Jim Cummings story on this podcast. It's not a story. It's a non-story. Ooh, but it was at a Halloween party at Emily's house. And he was right there. And I could have just said hi to him. And told him I'm a fan of all the cool stuff he's done. I chickened out and I didn't. And that's the whole story. And he's a really um, nice guy. Damn. 
that's a roller coaster ride of emotion that we just went on with you. The whole I'm night so I sorry. psyched myself up and I never did it. Richard. It's a story of my what? life. You're still regretting it to this day. This is yeah. why our message has always been no regrets. Anyone who does not no know who Jim Cummings is, just go look him up. He's done um, He There's He voiced no everything that you love, basically. What's your top, uh, like, <laughs> mass figure, I guess? Like Land- the top. His name is Richard. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was trying to put up the top mass. Shut you guys know, up, we haven't we haven't pod- we haven't podcasted in a long time so we're super rusty <laughs> um no my top is michelangelo and the ninja turtles Woo! i know Raphael's the one with the character depth don tello is the intelligent one who builds things leonardo's the leader and michelangelo just wants to eat pizza and party but i like him i think nunchucks are cool i have no idea why that is not awful isn't he the favorite of most people like he's yeah. my favorite well, he's kind of like a People say he's like kind of like a basic choice, but I, I don't know. I love Michelangelo. I like the nunchucks, even though I don't know how effective of a weapon nunchucks are. I don't know if you guys ever played with them. It's very easy to clock yourself in the face. Which means it's easy to clock other people, though. <laughs> yeah. So everybody just get the <laughs> away if you have nunchucks. Are we allowed to cuss? We'll edit nope. it out. <laughs> we'll edit it out. Yeah. Not today, not on a panel. Sorry to all the children out there. See, are they okay? Sorry, sorry guys. Oh, sorry. Okay, right there. Sorry. Oh, put your spotlight on him. He's so embarrassed. Put a quarter in no the more bits. square jar, Richard. Mm-mm. Um, no! Screw screw around. Around. There he goes again! <laughs> um... Emily, who's your second choice? I know you're you're finding this difficult. We can go in Bartman. Whoa! <laughs> That's good. I really, really, really loved him so much. <laughs> Bart Simpson, then he put on that mask. And Batman was my favorite superhero growing up. So it was just a marriage of the two. And that was my favorite song. I even have a uh, page of me in kindergarten says favorite songs la bamba and do the bar man i do know the song valley trash <laughs> but i still have never seen an episode of the simpsons richard what wait is wait wait how Uh-oh. dare you how dare you <laughs> try and scoot past that no, okay look but... all, right. all right i don't like friends but I've seen at least 10 episodes just because of the cultural permeation. How have you not seen an episode of The Simpsons? Oh my gosh. I don't have a beef with friends, by the way. No one can, I don't, I just, it's just don't crazy. really care. It's been Let's on my whole right. life. <laughs> <laughs> you've There's probably, always been the chance. <laughs> You've probably seen enough still images of The Simpsons in your life to string them all together to equal an episode. Probably. At 24 probably. frames a second, you've probably seen I've enough for an episode. Seen probably. Whole so episode. that means I've seen an episode. Okay, so then I've seen an episode. What'd you say, Emily? <laughs> I still have never seen a full episode of Seinfeld. Do you suppose okay. the deal with that well, is well, I'm done? Bart Simpson sometimes was Bart Man, and I think it's pretty self explanatory, but I was very much into that. I even had a Bartman cake at one point. Wolverine. Ah, yes, but of kill. I love him so much. So much. I'm trying to think so. Hugh Jackman never, his Wolverine never had a mask. So this is like comic book, cartoon. Classic. That's Wolverine. one of the best opening theme songs of all time. The X-Men cartoon. Yeah, it's, good one. I mean, I guess I was going to say it's underrated. <laughs> but no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Y'all know. No, but no, 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 false advertising. Darkwing Duck also had an amazing theme song. Oh, yeah. Barkman had an amazing theme song. We like theme songs. We love a theme song. My second favorite is 
Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I just thought he was cool because when I was a kid, there were t- <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Emily, you're not gonna make Anastasia do the whole, whole, <laughs> the whole song. All right. Um, no. <laughs> no. Um, no one's watching this. Everyone has turned this stream off. Um, actually, Anna, oh should we see if everybody's still here? <laughs> Whoa, guys! Thank you. You for staying. Um, we just missed you there for a second. We didn't see ya. But when I was a kid, in the early 90s, you basically had Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. So really, anything these characters could do is a big deal. And Sub-Zero could freeze people, which is insane. He'd freeze you, and then he'd uppercut you, and you'd shatter. Oh, and when you're a kid, and this was at the time, Mortal Kombat was like a big deal. All the uh, parental groups, everybody was like trying to get a band because it was too violent. Because it had blood and had people's like heads getting ripped out. This is when we thought like video games were gonna destroy the youth. Who could have predicted it's the baby boomers <laughs> <laughs> who would be ruining society? Is that too much? Is that too much? That's too much. No, it's great. It's great. Too much for our podcast. Let, let, let me actually ask my panel. What do you guys think? <laughs> How about all you baby boomers out there? You offended? No, no one knows how to Get this podcast? Great. Okay, great. Great. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Emily, you have to you have to do the hard work and do a third. Come on. Just rip it off like a band-aid. Ugh. Sound like my pimp. Um all right. So I <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is a skate over. There. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't know what they were called. Anywho, for number three, this is going to be a very basic answer, but I have to go because it was one of the first ones I thought of that popped in my head. I got to go with my gal Catwoman because specifically little, being little and be, seeing Batman Returns and Michelle Pfeiffer as Cat, which is still one of the greatest things that ever happened, was like before or around the same time of seeing like Buffy and just... I always was like, if I could do flips down the street, I would travel no other way. She was so effing cool. She was a little insane. Ugh, she was justified. She was just awesome. So I just, I had to put her. I don't think anyone's stepped up to the game. It's true. Like, since Michelle. No. And she can, Michelle Fiverr can still Sorry. do the whip. She was on her Instagram, like, cracking the whip. Michelle Pfeiffer is just a national treasure. I mean, awesome. can we just talk about Greece too? Oh. <sighs> Being the better, superior Greece. Fight me. Fight me. And Megan, she agrees. No? Well, that, that is kind she of a hot take. Um, I remember on the Batman Returns, I'm pretty sure she had to be like sewn into that suit. Oh my God. And I did you ever go to like the Tim Burton exhibit or whatever at um, mm. was it Rachma or something? I don't know. Um, oh, I miss they museums. had the suit there, and it's so freaking tiny. Of course, everything always yeah. is. Or not so. Sony, I think. Well. I think. I mean, you can check. This, but I think she had to be like vacuum sealed into yeah. that costume. Oh my god, it's so cool looking though. It's still one of. Oh, the it's awesome. Movies. It's just funny because ready every day, and they're like, "We're ready to vacuum seal you." <laughs> <laughs> no. Like the Wizard of Oz, when they'd be like, "Okay, here's our silver paint." <laughs> And they're yeah. slowly just suffocating to death. It's like they just Isn't that crazy. Legit got painted with paint. And Not just like those old, you can tell even watching like just how much those Batman costumes you couldn't move in them. And I was listening to a podcast. They're called Blank Check. They're awesome, but they're talking about how Robert Downey Jr. in the first Iron Man, he's wearing the full on suit. Everything's practical, and then it kind of turns into like there'll be like a shoulder piece and a head piece, and they'll CG the rest. And then by the time we get to Infinity War, it's a pair of glasses, <laughs> <laughs> and he pushes a button, and then it's all CG the whole way out. Yeah, he's like, I'm done wearing a tight suit. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know if you know this, but I'm Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> <laughs> you guys oh, if you guys haven't figured that out point. by now. Good Which point. is funny, Good so I guess point. the message is if Michelle Pfeiffer just stayed with the series long enough in like 10 years, she'd have a CG suit. She'd be just like cat ears. Yeah. And then... Uh, I hope Zoe Kravitz gets a cool freaking cat suit. 
in the season. I'm so too. She actor. will. She will. She'll get. Yeah. So she'll I, she'll I, rock I, it no matter what. It'll look good on her no matter what. I'm excited. She's perfect. It's Batman. And the Batman animated series Catwoman was great too, but everything about that show yes. was great. Yeah. So good. Kind of goes without saying. Love so that. my third choice is Sister Knight from Watchmen. Them this Ooh. TV series. Um, and that's a cool costume. She's a badass nun thing. I don't know. How to use say, this. She's got a badge. Who's she in charge of? I'll watch I think it. it's very relevant. It's a very relevant show right now. Um, and I just wanted to give a shout out to her. Um, also, I just love when they interview her and she, they're like, oh, do you do your own stunts? And she's like, no, I'm almost 50. They have a stunt woman. Okay, I'm not doing it. And I'm like, yes, girl. I am yes. a thespian. Thespian. <laughs> I will not be no, kicking my in it. Oh, my God. Um, but yay for being, like, a superhero in, like, almost being almost 50. Like, yay for that. So I love that. Mm-hmm. That's my third. Okay, Richard. Third. My up. All right. I don't know if I'll lose you guys with this one or not, but for my third, I'm picking Sheik from the Zelda series. I don't know if you know who that is, but they first made their appearance in Ocarina of Time, and it was this mysterious character that would appear to you once in a while, and they were playing a harp, and then, spoiler alert for a game that came out in 1998, Sheik turned out to be Princess Zelda in disguise, which was a cool twist at the time. Princess Zelda is a princess, but Sheik was like this crazy, athletic, like, all fighting, all ninja, like, mysterious character. It's like Queen Amidala. Yes, it's actually exactly. a lot like that. And it's also like a popular character in Smash Brothers too. So for all, there's a whole generation of kids who know the characters from Smash Brothers and might not know the games that they came from. But that's why I pick for the last one. Get a little love nerdy on our, nerd, on our nerd show. Nerdy I love it. Well, that is kind of the point. So good job there. Are you guys, are you guys ready for my game? Because I feel like it's, okay. I'm just going to let it, I'm going to let it happen. Oh my God. <laughs> I feel like these are all going to be, by the time you get to my game, you're going to be like, why do we let her do anything? I don't think that's what we're going to do. Oh, but, uh, <laughs> let me ask, let me ask my Kiki. <laughs> okay, here we go. And. Ooh. Bam. Ooh, all okay. right. So, you guys didn't want a list. <laughs> I love it. So this is on you. So is this like best out of nine? Yes. Okay. Do you want to? All right, I got number one. Want... Okay, number one. Possibly Spider Man. Yeah. Correct. Yay. One for one. <laughs> is number two Robin? Um, ish. Oh, f- no! okay. He's one of those other Robins. God, who's the other Robin? Right. Like Dark Wing. Not Dark Wing! Because <laughs> there's Robin. The first Robin was Dick Grayson, right? I'm not <laughs> saying not anything. Uh, but then there's two more. Terry. There's a, ter- there's a Robin who's called a Terry something. <laughs> Terry! It's Terry! There's a Robin. Terry! I'm, I'm not good with my secondary Robins. I don't well, think- it's not Robin. It's not called a Robin. But it's a ward of Batman. That's what I'm saying. It's not Robin. I'm just saying it's not Robin. Got me, dude. I'm so confused. Because I thought it was going to be like the arrow or something. <laughs> I think. Oh, uh, uh, no. <laughs> what? Just, just say it. It's not. It, this. This. This iteration is not Robin. I don't know the other name it's without Rob. Them. It's Rob. Is that Rob? <laughs> no, it's not Rob. Rob. Damn. No. I know there's like two there's like two more. Okay, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna give you a clue to help you out. Ready? All right. It is Dick Grayson, but it's not Robin. Oh, okay, okay. He was like oh, Nightwing or something. Thank you. Wait, Night really? <laughs> yeah. I was so close. I was like, not Darkwing. Oh my God. And everyone just laughed at me when I was like so close to anything I've ever been to. They all laughed at you. <laughs> oh my God. This is so stressful. Okay. Uh, oh so my God. I'm going to. 
Okay, so Richard gets it. Um, that was cool. It was. Right. Emily, you, you get a half a point. <laughs> No. I'm gonna tell you right now I don't know number three, so right. Emily, that's all yours. Number three is vision. <laughs> this one's hard though. Like I don't know if I should have put this one, but I just thought his mask was so weird. Um, it's a his mask is a letter. May I give you multiple choice? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Let me think of multiple choices. <laughs> uh, it's either A, Mr. Fantastic, B, Mr. Terrific, or C, Mrs. Fantastic. <laughs> Mr. Fantastic! What? Mr. Fantastic. You're wrong. <laughs> that was also my guess. It is. Mr. Terrific. So no one real. That's not a real character. You're gonna push your fan art onto us. <laughs> your o your OCs. Okay, but number four is easy, right? All right, I'm just a wild guess. Cheetah. <laughs> really? Is that a cheetah? Eagle girl. <laughs> Hawk girl? Raven Simone. Hawk girl. Yes, Richard. Really? Hawk girl. No, it's not. It's not. Oh Hawk. my god, that was Shut such up. freaking luck. Hawk girl is not a real thing. Oh my lord. Is it really Hawk girl? Yeah, there's it's a really Hawk girl. Guy you can't, and Hawk girl. They need a better You're name for that though. You can't you can't name someone Hawk girl. You've, well, Hawk guy is worse. It sounds like you're just saying Hawk guy. Are they both they're both <laughs> okay, no, because hawk girl. Hawk guy, the way that those yeah. the way those syllables. Yeah. They need. To, they need someone get someone write them a letter. They messed up. Okay. All right. Number five. I see like a swarm of bees in number five. I feel like these are more Rorschach tests. Is it Rorschach? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Rorschach is one of my favorites, and I didn't even put him in honorable mentions. That what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> This isn't head on fire, Ghost Rider, is it? No. Head on fire guy. Head on fire guy. Or that Fiona? Doctor, or, Fiona. Or Fiona. Fiona! Or Dr. Fate. Okay, we'll move on to number six. Wait, who's five? What's five? Dr. Fate. Oh. Emily, you didn't know? I said it looked like a bee. <laughs> she I did. She did say it's a bee. Is. Okay, number six. Dr. Doom. Do think? Thank you, Richard. Oh. Did you know Emily? When you said it. <laughs> okay, number seven. Or something, but I would have said boom or something stupid. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't go first. Dr. Number <laughs> seven. Okay, number seven is... Ah! Oh, something just happened to my screen, but it's fine. I'm okay. Number seven is pink eye. <laughs> guy. <laughs> you guys think of so is Deadpool, Deadpool, and that's not Deadpool. Because <laughs> you can't see his eyes. I know, but I thought maybe it was a scene where it got fried, and then we were looking at his cancer eye, because it's a weird <laughs> eye. I don't know. I don't know which she watches. I won't get this one. Um, okay, so we'll move on. Deathstroke. Is, is that... All right, number eight, Emily. Who is yeah, number eight? eight? Yay, Emily. I win the whole thing. I'm the victory. <laughs> um, you're the victory. I'm the victory. You're the victory. You're Anybody, number nine, number nine? Guy Quops. <laughs> yes, Emily. Will he? Yes. Why is his visor all honked up? It's X. It's an X. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you guys are tied, basically. And uh, we'll have to try it in a different game. Okay. Um. <laughs> that went a little better than I thought it was going to be. It's there for a while. It was not bad. It no, was, it was not fun. Bad. It was totally fun. But when I first saw it, I was like, oh, no. Should've That's why I was like, do you guys want multiple choice? <laughs> it's not that easy. Because I zoomed in 
to make it less obvious, you know? No, it was great. I loved it. I'm ready. I'm ready to start when you guys are ready. to. I just start. got like really scared. Well, because look at all those people behind you. <laughs> Wait, did you drink the tea, Anastasia? Did you drink the tea? I did drink the tea. I uh, did. I always drink the tea. Me too. <laughs> I think it's just always pressure when when somebody quizzes you. I'm automatically my brain goes bye. Yeah. I like literally have chills right now. I'm just... okay. All right, so I have a game. This is probably going to start off very easy and then remain easy or get very difficult. The first one's going to be gimme. I just all right, I'll play the clip, and then you guys got to say who it is. Maybe say the character, too. I mean, this first one is just going to be stupid. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie? Uh, it's Scream! It's, <laughs> it's Ghostface! <laughs> I was going to say, but do you know the name of the character? We already did him. Ghostface! <laughs> right, right. Easy. Gimme. All right, here comes number two. Oh, Zorro. Got it. Pretty good. <laughs> I was going to play it up until, there's up until a point that I actually say his name in the song and I was going to stop. All right, we got another one. This is also easy. And then maybe these will start to get harder, but this is going to, let's see. That's correct, Wendy. We all wear masks, metaphorically speaking. Stanley Imkis, the mask. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> all right. They're going to get a little bit harder. This one's also, I think this is the last of the gimmies, but we'll see. Get over here! Well, maybe not. All right, I'll play it again. Get over here! It sounds like a video game. It sounds like... They're I was going to say Mortal Kombat. Like, like Sub-Zero, maybe? <laughs> I don't oh, know. Not keep going. <laughs> Oh, who could it be There's not a lot of dudes in masks in sub in in a uh, street uh, Street Fighter in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> There's another dude in mask and it's yellow. Oh oh God! Why can I see him and not know his name? Oh my lord! I hate my life right now. Huh? It's Mortal Kombat. He's got a hook. If you give up, you give up. It's okay. I give up. All right, Scorpion. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I'm a Scorpio too. <laughs> right. This one might be oh, you might you might know this one right away. We'll see. They are not my friends. They cannot dictate to water. They will take hold of you and you will resent its absence. Not become addicted to water. This is a big movie. I won't knock you guys for not knowing his name. Big dude with the beard. Telling the people below. Don't get addicted to water. Uh, uh, oh, it's like water. I won't knock you guys if you don't know his Humongous character. Humongous guy? Hmm? Humongous guy? Pretty big dude. Dumps the water down on the people. Really? I, I was... just keep thinking water world now that you've said water. <laughs> <laughs> No, like Mad Max? Yep. Yeah, but That's isn't it. his name like Humo like isn't it literally Humongo or It's Immortan Joe. Oh. I thought that was, isn't there another guy in Mad Max like literally called Humongo or something? Never mind. But yes. Okay. Might be right. Let's <laughs> or I just read it wrong. I feel real smart, you guys. Humo yeah, there is a Humongo. It's in one of and he wears a mask. Oh yeah. the humongous. The humongous. See, so I'm not too. always We're right. Dumb. Just a little right. I am. I'm always dumb. <laughs> this one's probably yeah. this one's probably too easy, but we'll see. If the city doesn't turn all power over to me immediately, I'll blow this building sky high. It's from a cartoon, obviously. I I know. Voiced I, by I, James <laughs> Avery, Uncle Phil. If I play the whole clip, oh. you'll get it. No, but you're 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 in the zone. You want to hear it again? I can oh. play the whole clip. We'll give it away. I'll play the then whole clip. Play it. <laughs> <laughs> then it's gonna be. Then it's just gonna be whoever. Sh all right. He doesn't turn all power over to me immediately. I'll blow this building sky high. Not so fast, Kindred. Come on. 
I feel like I can picture exactly what it looks like, but at the name. <laughs> Turtle power. Well, I know it's Ninja Turtle. Oh, who oh, is he? Shredder. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Duh. So you Duh. got to you got to Ninja Turtles, but didn't get to Shredder. <laughs> yeah. That that. Okay, I told you my brain leaves. Okay. Lay out the pot, man. All right, this one's from a movie. I don't know. This one might be a little difficult, but we'll see. I've only seen this movie once. Maybe you guys have seen it more. We'll find out. Words will always retain their power. Words are for the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. But the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this country, isn't there? He's wearing a mask. He's on TV. People. It's not like V for Vendetta or something, right? Hmm? It's not V for Vendetta. Yeah. Oh. V? <laughs> All right. I don't know about this one. I'll give you hints if this one's too difficult, but I'll just play the clip first. Oh, better get this mask off. It's boiling inside. Good idea. Uh, ah. Adam. Ouch. Uh, Carly Beth, what is it? Uh, mask. It don't come off. Right, it's a TV show. Is that your porn stash? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, what is this? You porn? It's um, a TV show. It was a little, it was a little <laughs> oddly suggestive. I can't but take my mask off. <laughs> funny enough, this is a kid's show. It's not a kid's show? Um, based on a book. Oh my god, I can't. Um, based I on a spoopy it. book series. Is it Scooby Doo? No. But not a kid series. No, it is so a kid like, series. Oh, it is the kid yeah, series. Yeah, it's a kid show. Scary kid show based off a book series. Oh, Goosebumps? Or yes, but which one? Yes, it's the one with that demon little kid. What was it called? The mask. <laughs> I don't know. That's, you're, just, you're missing one word. The mask boy, the boy man. <laughs> The little mask. The, the little boy mask. There's, the there's a word in between. The blank mask. The little mask. <laughs> <laughs> the green exactly. mask. Exactly. What, what could a mask be that would make it mask. scary? The leather mask. The curse. The plain curse mask. mask. Anastasia's closest. The what? The haunted mask. You got it. Oh. <laughs> All right. So it's not the tiny mask. <laughs> Little boy man mask. <laughs> All right. Boys to men mask. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> this one, you're not, you guys are not going to get this one. So it's going to have to be a series of hints, even though you know this one. It's from a video game. And I guarantee you have controlled this character before. Here we go. What? From a video, <laughs> from a racing video game, like like Mario Kart. It's a character from Mario Kart. Here. Oh. <laughs> Mario Kart. Well, like Yoshi, did he have a version with him? No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh! What's his name? With the B, with the B, right? <laughs> but, uh, oh, flip, what's his name? I'm trying not to curse. That's Where's a good he <laughs> little guy. He's a little guy. Is he like, does he have a little red mask? Yes. Well, he's got a white mask, but he wears like a red coat. Is he a turtle? And I no. never played him, so you don't know me. He's very Ooh. bashful, but not that word. Shy guy. There it is. I remember now. See, it's weird because you never, when you're playing that game, you never hear more than like a quick clip and then you hear it all. Yeah, it sounds so weird. In a row. You get saying something? I don't think so. Uh, all right, yeah. so I didn't keep score. Who won? We all won. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's your game? Uh, are you guys I'm ready scared. for the most ridiculous no. BS you've ever heard? Welcome to Emily's Dumb Little Game. Yay! I'm ready. The following are a mix 
of trivia questions based off of real life things or just some things that, you know, I might be curious about. <laughs> it's an eclectic- I love Emily's games in the bed. Okay, are we ready? Welcome to Emily's Little Dumb Quiz. <laughs> this is the mass quiz question. <laughs> Yay. First and only mask trivia quiz. Woo. Question number one. Multiple choice, all of these. One to ten. <clears throat> number one. What? Caped Crusader did I dress as for Halloween for the first four <laughs> years of life? A, Catwoman. B, Donatello. C, Batgirl. D, Batman. Yeah, like first from like age one to four? Mm hmm Okay. Maybe two to four when I had a brain. Richard says A, Anastasia says A, Catwoman. The correct answer is D, Batman. Get out of town. <laughs> I know, sorry. You, you misled us because you went on that whole I love Catwoman spiel earlier. I know. Yeah, but if you're listening and if you've known, I've also said Batman's always been my favorite, but it could be some basic <laughs> Batman on my list. He is on here for honorable mentions. <laughs> We're not stalking you hard. And I said Catwoman once Returns came out. That wasn't in the first four years. Oh, okay. so this is going to be it's going to be challenging. No, this all is going right, to be so hard. Right. Okay, question number two: What year was the first known mask made? A. Two thousand BC. B. Seven thousand BC. C. 200 AD, D, 700 AD. <laughs> Anastasia says put it, C. Put it right in front of your face. <laughs> and Richard says B. The correct answer is B, 7,000 BC. No! <laughs> All right. Question number three. Are we having fun or are we having fun? Yes. Question number three. Mardi Gras is known for their elaborate masks. When yeah. did Mardi Gras first arrive in North America? A, January 1499. B, February 1599. C, March 1699. Or April 1799. Richard says D. Anastasia says B. The correct answer is C, March. That's, that's when we celebrate Mardi Gras, March 1699. By a French early. Canadian man, he brought it here. We really got going on that quickly. Right? So much fun. <laughs> All right, no, no dice, no dice. We're having fun though. Number four. <laughs> Number four, according to the CDC and me, you should <laughs> currently be wearing, be wearing masks during sex. A, true, or B, false? I feel like, I feel it's like. A, Anastasia says B, the correct answer is A, true. We're in such a hellscape. Can you imagine? Uh, they keep Wait, you're already touching things. Wearing it doesn't matter. Masks. Isn't that insane? I'm just, just, um, just wearing sexy masks. Just imagine it, if you will. <laughs> no kissing. No kissing. Like a permanent, oh, okay. like a permanent pout. <laughs> It'd be funny to like get masks with like different mouths on them, like Lisa Rinna's. Yeah. Oh my god. Right. Yeah. Anywho, I number know. five. Moving on. According to life lessons, which face mask should I never try? A coconut. B, cucumber, C, carrot, or D, charcoal? You girls have an advantage on this one. What were they again? <laughs> coconut? A, coconut, B, cucumber, C, carrot, D, charcoal. Carrot? 
And the answer is C, carrot, because I'm allergic to carrots. Oh, you meant you. <laughs> oh, my God. See, that was just a funny question about my allergies, you guys. How were you? I didn't know you were allergic to carrots. I've been feeding you carrots for years. Oh, I... <laughs> The just little, little bits of carrots. It's like in Parasite. <laughs> yeah. God, that's why I'm always so <laughs> All right. <laughs> End of the game. Richard has won five to one. And that's Emily's dumb little game. I Yay! had a great time. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, thank you for turning, tuning in to our panel. You can find us at Nerd Up or Shut Up on all of the social media and on all your favorite podcast apps. Bye! Yeah. <laughs> I love a smooth ending. Nerd or Shut Up. The podcast. Where the only wrong opinion is yours.